Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I wanted to show a new blooming flower girl. This is Rosie Rosalind. So I've printed her out on heavy duty cardstock. This cardstock is uh, 120 pound, which makes a really nice heavy weight for doing these movable uh, paper dolls. And now I'm gonna trim her out and show you how to put her together. There are three pieces that have numbers. So what I like to do with that is to cut them out in order, one, two, three so that I know what order they're gonna go. After all my pieces cut out, she's gonna be super, super cute. Okay, so for, for assembly, see the one, one, two, three, those are in order in how they're gonna be put together and I'm gonna put them off to the side. Now I'm gonna do her, um, putting together her head that's movable and show you how to do that. Put on a self-healing mat, I have a paper piercer. There's a spot indicated where you're gonna poke your hole and you poke it all the way through on the little tab and on the top of the neck like that. And next I'm going to put it together with a little mini brad so you go through the neck and then the tab like this and then flip it over and open your brad like that. And then that piece, you're gonna put glue here and here, just on the ends of the tabs. I'm using Nuvo adhesive. I know I talk about art glitter glue a lot and I'm trying Nuvo adhesive. Uh, someone said it is as good as art glitter glue, so I'm giving it a shot. So you put it just along the tab edge like that. And now you put her head in place and you don't want that neck, the head up too high or too low, so just find the right spot where it looks right. And then you're going to hold and press down so that it uh, adheres with that glue. And then what I usually do is flip it over and I put a little piece of scotch tape. on either side of the tabs. And that's just so it'll have glue and a little bit of scotch tape. That just gives it a little extra hold so it'll stay in place really well. And now you have a movable head. Isn't that cute? She's darling. I love her face and I love her movable head. I'm going to take the flower pot and I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut across the inner part of the pot. And it doesn't have to be all the way across, just big enough to put her inside. And if you cut a little more, that's all right. It just has to be big enough to stick her in there. And I always go around the edges of all my pieces. So around the petals, I went around them in pink. Around her shirt, I did blue and then green on the sleeves. And then my ochre color that I like to use for skin tones. And then I did a navy blue around her head. It cleans up and makes the edges just look so nice. So see how inside the pot now you have a white edge. So I just take my little pen and go and get rid of that white edge. I just think those details make your doll turn out so much nicer. So she's going to get stuck down in the pot like this. Oh, she's so cute. I love it. Like this. And then I'm going to glue her into place. So I flip it over and just put a little glue underneath and glue it into place. You can also put scotch tape back there too if you want. And that's just like extra double hold. Next I'm going to add these petals. These are the ones that have a flat end. So where that flat end is, those are what are going to get glued behind. And I just like to lay them out have them overlap a little bit. Find the way you want them in the pot behind her. And it can be in any order, doesn't really matter with these. 
You just want to glue them into place. Let's switch those around. See, this is where it's fun to lay them out and get them just the way you want them. Just like that. So that looks really cute. And now I'm going to glue them into place. So how I usually do that is just flip it over or take each one out one at a time. Put a little bit of glue along that straight edge. Tuck it back in where it was behind her and then just kind of hold it down and then do the next one because you're going to layer them you want them to be overlapping each other so i'm going to glue those into Make sure place. that when you're gluing that last petal that goes behind her head don't glue it to her head only to the body because you want to make sure you keep that head in a position where it can move so make sure that you only glue it to her body you don't want to impede the movement of that head do a little petal shaping and you could do this before you glue them on it's up to you I like to do it after but either way works out just fine and you want to take a paintbrush handle and you're going to put it behind that petal and then you're just going to kind of roll it with your thumb or your finger and you're just shaping it so I'm going to go both directions to curl up the edges this way and this way see like that I think this just gives it a lot of shape and character it makes pe the petals look so realistic and nice probably easier to do it beforehand but it doesn't matter either way works either way but paper is workable, so you can just bend it. Especially cardstock that's 120 pound, it bends so nicely. But look at how that makes such a difference on the finalized piece when you've got bends in it. They're not so flat, they're dimensional when you bend them. So bend them and shape them. And look how it ends up, super cute. Now, same with these, not the big one. Well, maybe the big one. I could do a little bit on the big one. Why not? Let's roll those edges a little bit. Just those two front edges I rolled. Just a touch. And you know, that's how roses look, too. Roses are, have rolled petals like that. So that is really cute to roll it just a touch. And let's do it with this one. I'm going to shape it this way and then this way and then flip it over and do it this way. And I end up with a nice shaped petal. Doing it with a paintbrush handle just makes it super easy. So look at those nice shaped petals. Love it. Love it. Okay, so these, one, two, and three. So what you're going to do is poke your holes in these. Just like this. And they're going to go together. One, two, three. And then you're going to poke a hole, since you have this all put together, just right here. I didn't mark it because it depends on where you put her in her pot. It's up to you to decide where you want this to, to go. But I'm going to put her petals right there. So there's her hole there. I have a little pink mini brad, so you go through number one, number two, number three, and then through her body, and then spread out your brad, and that makes her rose skirt, just like that. And now when it's up and you twist it up, 
it hides her and here's your rose in the pot super cute rose in the pot and when you fold it down it makes her rose skirt so cute love her so much and then she comes with a bow so I am going to put this bow in her hair I'm going to curl that a little bit and give it a little bit of bend because bows aren't just flat same thing give it a little bend and then put some glue just in the center part right there and I'm going to glue this let's see I like it over there I put a little bow in her hair and then I've got this cute butterfly and I'm going to fold that butterfly just pinch it and fold and pinch and fold so that you have a flat part for the body like this that you can glue down and leave the wings loose and that'll make your little butterfly look dimensional. And I'm going to put that butterfly I think over here on I'm going to put it on this petal. See you can put it anywhere you want. Look how cute she looks. And then I'm going to just take a pen and I'm going to add the little butterfly antennas right to where I glued it down like that. So here's what she looks like. I like the shape of the bow when you shape it a little bit and the petals bent. Look at her cute flower dress, her rose dress. Super fun and you can change this around you could have it like this as her dress that's cute I like that a lot but they're movable so you can position them any way you want you could have that over here and these petals over here to make that rose at the bottom become like a fashion or put it in the middle like that that's cute however you want to do it and then you can twist them up front up to the top and there's the blooming flower pot so the blooming flower girl this is Rosalind or Rosie Rosalind I'll have a link in the description box below for where you can purchase this kit I like her little movable head and I hope you love her as much as I do Rosie Rosalind So I hope you enjoyed this and that you're making some art today and make a paper doll to either put in your art journal or just to have fun with. She could have a hanger put on her and you could hang her. There's, you could give her as a gift. So cute. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you have a great day making art because art soothes the heart. Mm -hmm.